This is an instructional video detailing the proper procedure and best practices for uncreating and setting up a Phase 2 benchtop hardness tester. The process shown here is applicable to most benchtop testers we have available. After your unit has arrived, expect to see it strapped down to a pallet. Ensure that careful inspection is done to both the packaging as well as any indicators affixed to the machine, such as the tip and tell. Notate any abnormal signs of damage on the shipper's receiving forms. Once the crate has been inspected, remove the steel straps securing the crate to the pallet. It is strongly recommended to avoid damaging the packaging material as it can be used for transport or long-term storage of the machine in the future. Unbolt or unscrew the top of the crate taking care to use proper tooling to avoid damaging hardware. Depending on the model purchased, the type, number, and specific location of the fasteners may be different. After disassembly of the top portion of the crate, the machine will still be secured to the crate bottom with bolts. Note that this is not applicable to Vickers machines. Elevate the crate to access the bolts underneath to remove them from the machine. After removing the machine and any of its peripherals from the crate, it is vital that the unit be set up on a stable, level surface that is free from vibration. As per ASTM E18-22, Rockwell hardness tests should be carried out at ambient temperature within the limits of 10 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius, or 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. For deadweight machines, a set of weights must be placed in order for the test to run properly. Open the access panel at the rear of the machine and remove the rubber bands holding the weight holder in place. Install the weights onto the rod, making sure they are installed in the correct order. While the machine is in the unload position, cycle through the weight selections and ensure that the weight selection knob can spin properly. Remove the top cover and release the tie down on the upper arm as well as the rubber band holding the indicator down. Install an appropriate penetrator and anvil and you are now ready to take a test on a 900-331. While this video may not have depicted your specific model, the principles are similar. Inspect the packaging and any indicators, notating damage. Step 2. Carefully remove hardware and save crate for future use. Step 3. Remove machine and accessories from the crate. Step 4. Ensure that the machine is on a stable surface and leveled. Step 5. Install weights into the machine. If the machine uses a closed loop load cell control, this step may not be applicable. Step 6. Follow any and all instructions and or labels. Some machines may have been secured internally for transport and will need to be opened prior to testing. This concludes our procedures and best practices for creating and setting up a Phase 2 benchtop hardness tester. Model specific information can be found in the provided manuals and for further support, feel free to contact us by email or phone.